Hello children. Welcome in class 12th English Flamingo lesson 3 Deep Water written by William O Douglas. Let us discuss about the author. William O Douglas was born in Maine, Minnesota on October 16th, 1898 and raised in Yakima, Washington. He entered Whitman College in 1916, but his studies were interrupted by military service in World War 1. Douglas was graduated from Whitman in 1920 and taught school for 2 years before attending law school at Columbia University. Upon graduation in 1925, he joined a New York law firm but left 2 years later to spend 1 year in Yakima. He subsequently returned to teach law at Columbia University and transferred to the faculty of Yale University in 1929. In 1936, President Franklin D. Roosevelt appointed Douglas to the Securities and Exchange Commission and in 1937 he became chairman. President Roosevelt nominated Douglas to the Supreme Court of the United States on April 15, 1939. The Senate confirmed the appointment on April 17, 1939. Douglas had the longest tenure of any justice serving on the Supreme Court for 36 years spanning the careers of five chief justices. He retired on November 12, 1975. and died on january 19 1980 at the age of 81 let us have an introduction to the chapter this is an excerpt taken from of man and mountains by william o douglas a leading advocate of individual rights and a justice in the courts of united states of america in this story douglas talks about his fear of water and how he finally overcomes it with a strong will power courage hard work and firm determination once he took courage the fear vanished that shows most of our fears are baseless fear creates dangers where there is none the writer's experiences further confirm the proverbial truth where there is a will there is a way the characters and places in this deep water douglas narrator of the story ymca pool a swimming pool run by young men's christian association yakima yakima is a united states city located about 60 miles southeast of mount rainier in washington let us have a look to the summary of the lesson The story Deep Waters tells us how the writer overcame his fear of water and learned swimming with sheer determination and will power. He had developed a terror of water since childhood. When he was 3 or 4 years old, the writer had gone to California with his father. One day on the beach, the waves knocked the child down. and swept over him the child was terrified but the father who knew there was no harm laughed the experience bred a permanent fear of water in the child's subconscious mind still another incident more serious increased his terror the writer was trying to learn swimming in the ymca swimming pool in yakima One day while he was waiting for other boys a big boy suddenly played a dangerous prank and pushed him into the water the writer was terribly frightened he went down 9 feet into the water when he reached the bottom he jumped upward with all his strength he came up but very slowly He tried to catch hold of something like a rope but grasped only at water. He tried to shout but no sound came out. He went down again, his lungs 
ached, head throbbed and he grew dizzy. He felt paralyzed with fear. All his limbs were paralyzed. Only the movement of his heart told him that he was alive. Again he tried to jump up. But this time his limbs would not move at all. He looked for ropes, ladders and water wings but all in vain. Then he went down again the third time. This time all efforts and fears ceased. He was moving towards peaceful death. The writer was in peace. When he came to consciousness, he found himself lying on the side of the pool with the other boys nearby. The terror that he had experienced in the pool never left him. It haunted him for years and years to come. It spoiled many of his expeditions of canoeing, swimming and fishing. It spoiled his pleasure in Maine lakes, New Hampshire, Deschutes, Columbia and Bumping Lake etc. But the writer was determined to conquer his terror. He took help of a swimming instructor to learn swimming. The instructor taught him various actions necessary in swimming part by part. He put his face under water and exhaled and inhaled, raising it above water. He practiced it for several weeks. He had to kick with his legs a few weeks on the side of the pool. At last, he combined all these actions and made the writer swim. He learned swimming, but the terror continued. So deep goes our childhood experiences. So fearful is the fear of fear. Whenever he was in water, the terror returned. Hence, henceforward, the writer tried to terrorize terror itself. He tried to face the new challenge. When terror came, he confronted it by asking it sarcastically as to what it can really do to him. He plunged into the water as if to defy the fear. Once he took courage, the terror vanquished. He faced the challenge deliberately in various places like the warm lake, and at last he conquered it. That's all in this letter, uh, Deep Water. Here comes word meanings. Go through them, learn them by heart. They will help you to understand the chapter in a better way. Now we have come to questions and answers. Some answers are here that will help you to comprehend the lesson. I hope you like the lesson. Thank you.